a champion bodybuilder. I mean, uh, that that's commit. That take commitment, my brother, yeah. to to be committed to do it, to be onto your champion. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely, and, uh, absolutely. Yeah, you know what? It's um, it's uh, and and yet, as we were talking before, you know that really. You got the pin. You got to the pinnacle where most people want to be, and there was no. You didn't feel great yeah. satisfaction. Yeah, that's that's yeah. that's so true. It's it was surprising to me. I I had trained for five or six years um, in bodybuilding. It was it was one of my ambitions to become like one of the guys you see in the the magazines and work my way up the ladder. And um, that picture that they showed was was shortly after I won the uh, Mr. Ontario uh, Heavyweight Champion Championship. And uh, so that, was, that took five or six years of hard training and a lot of dedication. And like I said, it was my ambition at the time to go as far as I could with the sport. And, but what really happened after that was, was kind of a surprise to me. Was it, it, it didn't really fill me up as, like I thought it would. And in fact, it was leading me away from God. Uh, I accepted Christ when I was in my teens and slowly drifted away from him. I hardly read, read the Bible or went to church uh, during those years and just focused on myself and my ambitions. And, and it was, yeah, it was really surprised to me that uh, how empty it was actually on the other side. And that along with the broken relationships, one, one thing led to another. And, uh, you know, I'm crying out to God to, to heal me, to to fill me up, you know, and I started to press into God and started to read the Bible every day and uh, be filled with the Holy Spirit and came back into the fellowship of believers. I had separated myself and God really showed up. He really showed me like who he was and um, he, gave me, he gave me some verses. I came across some verses like Isaiah 40 verse 31, which, is, uh, which says, um, They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. And that, that, that verse went, meant a lot to me. It was, it was funny. It came across to me like three or four times within a couple of days. You know, when that happens, that's God. That's God telling you he's going to give you your, your strength back. Because emotionally, I, I went through a few things, and it left me really dry and empty. And God was also speaking to me through other verses like um, Joel 2, verse 12 to 13. Even now, even now, return to me, God said. Um, I'm gracious and compassionate and abounding in love and relent from sending calamity. So he's, just by spending that much time in the Word, God was speaking to me and filling me up with the Holy Spirit. And, uh, you know, I decided not to go any further with bodybuilding. Uh, I was invited to go to Mr. Canada. I, have, I still actually, I, I contacted the president of CFBB the other, the other week, and I'm still actually qualified for Mr. Canada. But I, I decided to give it up. Um, there was just too much moral compromise in that sport. And I, I went as far as I could, and at the end of the day, you know, the, the world leaves us empty. It gives us a lot of promises, a lot of promises, but it just doesn't deliver. In the end, you know, it just leads to eternal separation from God. And that's the, that's the bottom line. That's, those, are the kind of, those are some of the things that I experienced um, going through that. I still, I still weight train, but you're probably going to see me in the gym now wearing a John 3.16 t-shirt, you know, reaching out to my fellow uh, brothers in the weightlifting arena and just reaching out to them, you know, that's, that's, that's where I'm at right now. And that, that emptiness is all gone. And God, God always welcomes you. He always shows that it's better to come back to him, just like the prodigal son. It's always better to come back to God. And if you haven't uh, made a decision for Christ, he's, he's waiting for you on the other side um, to, to make that decision, you know. That's, that's really what life is all about. And... Um, there's a lot of emptiness in the world right now, and I experienced some of it, but, um, you know, because God was hanging on to me. He, he, he was hanging on to me, and I pushed, pushed him away, but then I, I came back to him, and I'm telling you, life is so much better right now. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so, you, um, so here you are, the pinnacle of the career, but you, 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 had, known, you, were, you were, had known the Lord before. Absolutely. Yeah, and... Uh, yeah. And the bright lights and, and ambition yeah. uh, drew you away, and yeah, uh, and, really uh, did, yeah. and and here you are, get to the top. Yeah, there, there is no. Close. I mean, the, the top in when you were the top in Ontario. Yeah, yeah I was. Ontario. Yeah, I was one step away from becoming a professional. If I would have won the next contest, I, could, I would have been. 
uh, moving to California and doing the, the pro bodybuilding thing. Yeah. So I was getting pretty close. Yeah. So, yeah. but that doesn't give you the satisfaction. No, no, it really doesn't. It doesn't give you the satisfaction it at was, all. It was a surprise to me. Yeah. I, I, you know, it was, a, it was a bit of a surprise. Yeah. I think there's a lot of guys going through athletics and reaching a certain level of uh, accomplishment. And I'm pretty sure that most people uh, will experience that emptiness on the other side. Yeah. Uh, is that where you are this morning? And he just happened to be in, uh, you know, in, in a sport. Uh, 